Back in the day, a suit was known as a power uniform. It was meant to convey size, strength, wealth, and a conservative, play-by-the-rules lifestyle. In today's world of fashion, people tend to go for a more definitive tailoring, combining the casual and professional lifestyle and creating a new breed of jackets called the unstructured jacket. We have fabulous fashion director Kelly Fung with us in the loft as we talk about the unstructured jacket and how this has changed fashion. Welcome to Afternoon Express. Thank you for having me. You look gorgeous as always. As do you, with your unstructured jacket. I, yeah, well, let's talk jackets because right. they it's so hard to keep up with trends throughout the years and styles change and things come back into fashion. I struggle clearing out my wardrobe because I think, oh, this is probably going to come back in a while. <laughs> so, I mean, where are we now with jackets and how did the unstructured jacket come about? Well, firstly, don't throw anything away because things <laughs> come and go and they recycle and you, you see what was coming from the 80s is now back again. Yeah. Um, the jacket has, has, has such a prominent place in, in fashion history. I mean, you started way back in the 1800s where things were really tailored and, and jackets were such a formality. I mean, you would have your coattails and then you would change to your dinner jacket, which was slightly more casual than, I mean, it's not casual by any means in this day and age, but yeah. it was at the time. <laughs> um, and they've, it's, it's kind of evolutionized throughout the times. Um, you, you think about the, the Miami Vice, the, Don kind of, Johnson. Yeah, the white <laughs> suit jacket, which is a little pink. bit more casual. Yeah. And wear it with a t-shirt. And, um, and then, of course, for women, there was the, the iconic Le Smoking jacket from Yves Saint Laurent. I mean, um, I love that. And it was that. a bit more tailored, exactly. I want to be that woman when I look at I that mean, jacket. I mean, she is so slick. It was oh. all about that slick tailoring and, and, and lifting in the waist and um, strong shoulders. Yeah. And then as it went along, I mean, 80, they, there's the smoking... The smoking jacket. I mean, that's smoking hot. Which is slick, slick, slick. So you say <laughs> Laurent owns that. Um, but as we've gone along, you know, when women are now having to do so much more, men and women, actually, we have a very busy lifestyle. Jackets have, have become a little bit more easy. Uh, fabric's more breathable. There's more, more mobility in jackets. So while I think not taking away from the polish that is jackets, it, is, it seems to be a little bit more casual, a little bit... Yeah. As you say, unstructured. Yeah. Now, when looking at the unstructured jacket, how would that style change for men or for women? Well, I think for men, um, the, the jacket really hasn't completely changed too much. I think, you know, the, 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 the shape maybe has gotten a bit looser. They, it, buttons have been played around with, the experimentation with fabrics. Um, but the shape has always been there from when it was incredibly tailored. Um, to when people would loosen the button to now things being like maybe a softer linen. Uh, whereas women, it's done 360 flip-flops, 180s, um, starting again with this kind of uh, formal uh, shape, yeah. then going completely nipped in at the waist. Stunning. Especially in the 80s when it was all about being a power woman and your shoulders were big and your, your waist was small. Yeah. Um, and now you're seeing something completely... I mean, they're taking a little bit more from the masculine side, borrowed from the boys, yeah. <clears throat> excuse me. And uh, shapes are slightly looser, maybe more masculine, a little bit more oversized. Um, and again, because women are living these really busy lives, you have to be able to, li to live and wear your clothes. Yeah, well, time. I'm just being conservative for TV, otherwise I'd wear this jacket as a dress. I mean, <laughs> you know, you can go from work to drinks. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so why is it important to have a good jacket or a good unstructured jacket in your capsule wardrobe? Well, I think it's all about polish, really. It's um, an effortless polish at that. Now that it's gone unstructured, it doesn't have to feel restrictive. Yeah. Um, but it really does just... It's like the cherry on the top of an outfit of maybe an otherwise relaxed outfit. You can yeah. just add a jacket on to go to drinks um, after work or you can put a jacket on to, have, to put your power outfit on for, your, yeah. for those meetings in work. You know? Well, this conversation has totally inspired me to look at my jackets in a different yeah. way. But now, what must I look for when buying a good jacket to know that it's going to be a keeper, you know, a classic that you can keep in your wardrobe for years? Well, I think beyond good fabrication and mo mobility, what, what is what we said, and versatility, I think fit is so important. I think that is where um, you, there's, you'll see a difference between a, like a hot mess <laughs> and something that actually pulls everything, your, your outfit together, which yeah. is that polish that we were speaking about. Yeah. So fit tailoring, the fitting in your shoulders, the right length for your body type. Are you an, a structured or an unstructured girl? Should it go into your waist? Should it not? 
Um, play around with those shapes and I think you'll find the one that works with you and will last forever. You are wonderful. Thank you so much <laughs> for telling us about the jacket. Thank you. So good to have you here. Now the clothes we wear are a reflection really of ourselves to the outside world, so they matter. Let's find out how the Siemens avant-garde washing machine ensures to keep our sample pieces in wearable condition. The Siemens avant-garde machine is really state-of-the-art, but how user-friendly is it? Siemens does a lot of research and development of how uh, consumer-centric our machines are. This machine has a full LCD display, which is extremely easy to use. Even you'll be able to use it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I will be. And what detergent would you recommend? Siemens recommends using Skip Auto Detergent. It really works the best in our washing machines and it will ensure that your clothes are always looking beautiful. Now with a lot of blazers and corporate jackets, they stipulate that you've got to have them dry cleaned. But with the softer ones, you can actually wash them at home. The unstructured jacket is normally made from a cotton and linen and we have the perfect program for this. Our cotton cycle can wash up to 60 degrees, which will wash your jacket thoroughly. The program will also maintain both the colour and the shape of your unstructured jacket, making it look perfect. Skip Auto wants you to love what you are wearing. It's specially designed to thoroughly clean and take care of the fibres and fabrics, leaving garments looking like new for longer. Skip together with Siemens want to make sure your capsule wardrobe lives up to any occasion. Remember, when you are proud of what you wear, you are guaranteed to look fabulous. Skip loves your clothes as much as you do. All you fashion fanatics, stay right where you are because after the break, as promised, the legendary Gavin Raja showcases some of his latest collection for us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 